I've heard a lot of myths about DJI Ronin S that it can carry enormously huge and heavy cameras normally. But I never tried to balance my huge Sony FS7 with Sigma 18-35. Let's find out if it can carry this load. What's good? My name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On, the channel about the privilege of being a freelancer, tips and pieces of advice about motivation, personal growth, some tech aspects and many more. Welcome to the channel. At first, we'll try to balance Sony FS7 with a smaller lens and a smaller battery, which is Sony BP30. And later on, we'll try Sony BP90 and a huge lens Sigma 18-35, which is about a kilo. The thing is that Sony FS7 is a pretty bulky camera and if we put it in a normal way like this, it doesn't fit because of the back motor. But if we turn it sideways like this, vice versa, it can fit properly because the lens is not getting in the way of a motor. So let's try to balance this camera. Also to work properly we need to use an external monitor and a special dual handles because it's a very heavy load. So we put the monitor up here and later on we plug it into the camera. I'll show you in a bit. All the links will be down in the description below. Check them out. Okay, now it's time to balance the camera. So first of all, we find the right balance in terms of the roll axis, the back motor. So right now it's almost, yeah, it's almost balanced. Then we will try to find balance right there by sliding the camera. Uh-huh. It falls back, now it falls up front. It's a pretty heavy load, so it's just subtle movements, gentle movements. Okay, now we're moving on to the tilt axis. So we put the camera like this and we see that the bottom of the camera doesn't allow us to do this. Well, we'll try to make it like this. We'll unlock this axis, then we do this movement and then we slide it so it can kind of hang properly. I almost found the balance so we can see that yeah it's not perfectly balanced but I guess the motors will carry it correctly. Okay now the last axis we take the Ronin like this and we see if it moves somewhere. Almost not. It's not a perfect balance but I guess it will work. Okay, now it's almost balanced and I'm putting on the external monitor and I'll show you how it's working. Of course I forgot to put in the battery while balancing. <laughs> Don't do like this. So now I put the battery in and rebalance the camera and you'll see it fast forward. Okay guys, I had to change my location because the sun came out. Okay guys, so we've balanced the camera and now it's time to turn the DJI Ronin on. So we press this button once tap and once hold. Well, looks like it's working. And now we have to make auto calibration. So we press and hold the trigger and the M button. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. The calibration just started and now the Ronin is doing it, its thing, trying to understand which motor has to be which strength. Okay, so let's try to use it. The back motor is getting a little bit in the way of the lens, but actually it's working, you know, I can pan. Well, it's not perfect but it's working. Okay, as we see the joystick is working perfectly fine. Yeah guys, everything is working. So now I'm gonna show you some footage using this setup.
Okay guys, you've seen the footage. I guess it's pretty okay for this beast of a camera and beast of a setup. And now let's try to make it even bigger. So we'll use a BP90 battery, which is pretty heavy. And also the Sigma 18 to 35, which is around a kilogram with an adapter from Sigma MC11. The spec sheet says that Ronin can handle 3.6 kilogram. Here is the weight of this setup and the weight of the setup with Sigma 18 to 35. So let's find out how beast of a device Ronin S is. So we turn this off, take out the battery, put in the big battery and the big lens. Well guys, you see that? It's getting much, much heavier. Now it looks like a real monster. So what do we have here? Okay, it's going to the right, so we have to put it a little bit to the left. The movement should be very gentle, because the heavier the load, the smaller the movements you gotta make. Wow, it's getting pretty hot, tough and heavy. Okay, almost, almost. Okay guys, that's the best balance I found. Probably it's not excellent, but I guess the motors of the Ronin S can handle this weight. Let's find out. Well, <laughs> actually it seems like it's working. So it's time to calibrate it. So we hold trigger and M button for three seconds. Maybe it's the right way to use it. Wow, such a beast. You know, guys, I'm speechless. Okay, guys, now it's time to check if it's working. So the joystick. The joystick is working. So now let's try to take this oh guys it's pretty heavy but i guess it's working now it's on kind of 28 25 maybe millimeters and it's doing okay so now i'll show you some footage and you'll tell by yourself if it's okay to work with oh good oh come on Whew, let's go Okay, folks, you've seen the footage and what I can say. Actually, it's a pretty tough and uh, pretty good setup. It's usable. I do not recommend doing a 360 infinity roll with this, of course, but for most of the tasks, it's working pretty fine and okay. Great job, DJI. I'm impressed. So we're moving on to the quote of the episode. Since we're talking about big weights, that's the quote of the episode. My sweetheart, if you want to lose weight, you have to eat naked in front of the window. So question of the episode. What was the biggest load for your gimbal in kilograms? Share in the comment section below. And as we saw today, the weight is not a problem. This was Alek Nikitin and Tech Kitchen, which is outside again. Bye, take care.